Hi dear students, welcome to my channel. This video is useful for 8th standard onwards. In this video, we will do one interesting application that is ballistic pendulum. What is this? I will explain. It's very easy. To find out the speed of the bullet you fire with a gun, bullet comes out, you should know what is the velocity so that you can find out the range where it is going to hit. For that, we are doing a small experiment. It's very easy. Ballistic pendulum means it is just like this. You assume uh, what you want to say here. A little uh, some this mass you assume it has some heavy mass. It is hanging like this. Okay, this is rest. Now you fire. Take a gun and fire. The bullet will go enters into this block. And both together will swing up to some height. Agree? So initially, the total kinetic energy is a bullet energy. It enters after entering both together moving. Just after enter, you have to calculate the velocity of this bullet and this block together by using moment and conservation. Just after collision, what is the total kinetic energy you can calculate? Okay, the bullet enters into this block and together they are moving with some velocity. So just of the collision, the total kinetic energy will be converted into potential energy. Okay, because this is connected with the string, it will swing to some height. It will swing to some height. So if you calculate, if you measure this height, how much height it lifted with that information, you can find out what is the speed of the bullet that you fired with your gun. This is the most important application of ballistic pendulum to find out the speed of the bullet so that you can find out what will be the range up to what distance it will travel, where the enemy is there, what you want to kill or what you want to do. That's up to you. But this is a beautiful explanation. I mean problem to understand. Okay. Watch forward. You will understand very clearly with calculations. Okay. This is class number 89, the most important application, ballistic pendulum. You are seeing the figure here, no? This is one block, heavy block, mass M2, connected with the two strings like this. This is a ceiling, this is at rest. So this block M2, heavy mass, is hanging like this okay what we are going to do we are going to find out the velocity of the bullet that is fired from your gun if you have a gun if you want to find out with what velocity it is coming out from your gun how do you know you will know if you watch this video properly okay now I will explain how we can find out the velocity of the bullet that is from, in, from your gun. See here, this is bullet looking like bullet only, no? Mass M1. You fired, it is coming out with velocity U. What happens? It will go and pierce into this M2. After piercing into M2, what happens? Both together M1 and M2 will move. Immediately after collision, this M1 and M2 move together with velocity V. This is completely, purely inelastic collision. Okay? Then what happened? Just after collision, both moving together with velocity v means just after collision both have kinetic energy after that what happens this block connected with these two strings what it can do just it can swing it cannot go directly like this it will swing means both together will shift by a height h and it will stop here. Okay. 
here are two important things you have to keep in mind first thing pure inelastic collision total momentum is conserved with that we can find out just after collision what is the velocity first part is over second part just after collision you found the velocity so just after collision you know what is the total kinetic energy after that what happens this is going up like this and it is stopping this total kinetic energy just after collision converted into potential energy so here conservation of mechanical energy you have to take first one is momentum conservation just after collision you are taking conservation of total energy okay that concept we are using to find out the velocity of the bullet here velocity of the bullet u we are going to find out we know m1 we know m2 v we calculated h also we calculated means from the experiment this h we can measure v we calculated so u you can calculate this complete figure this m2 m1 together this setup is called ballistic pendulum okay the first step momentum conservation total momentum before collision pi equal to total momentum after collision pf so before collision total momentum m1 is moving with velocity u so m1 u equal to m2 is rest only no initially so initial momentum means before collision the total momentum is m1 u equal to after collision what happened this m1 entered into this one it pierced inside and together moving so m1 plus m2 together moving with velocity v this is equation 1 from this we can calculate v you got it so from momentum conservation from equation 1 we can find out what is the velocity of m1 and m2 together just after collision that is v equal to m1 u divided by m1 plus m2 from this equation so now what we have to do what is the total kinetic energy just after collision i am calling that is kf why i am calling kf this is final kinetic energy also you can call because this is final kinetic energy just after collision kinetic energy just after collision kf equal to half m1 plus m2 into v square because both together moving that is why m1 plus m2 with what velocity v so the total kinetic energy just after collision of m1 plus m2 into v square but v is nothing but this one you substitute m1 square u square divided by 2 into m1 plus m2 this you got this is total kinetic energy just after collision i am calling equation 3 but this kinetic energy completely converts into potential energy because that together m1 m2 moves swings up no some height h yes that we will write in the next see here m1 square u square divided by 2 into m1 plus m2 equal to m1 plus m2 into gh from the total mechanical energy conservation we know h g m2 m1 and u you can find out so u square i'm writing here i'm taking this all this side so you'll get m1 plus m2 divided by m1 whole square into 2 gh you want u u is the velocity of bullet 
so finally we are estimated what is the velocity of the bullet by using this formula so u equal to u2 square root of both sides m1 plus m2 divided by m1 into square root of 2gh this is velocity of the bullet you fired from your gun you got it this is very easy i am giving you a problem you have to solve it this problem is based on elastic collisions in the previous videos i have given some information about elastic collisions no based on that you have to solve this okay the problem is like this two particles of masses 1 kg and 2 kg are moving along the same direction with velocities 4 meter per second and 2 meter per second as shown in the figure see here one particle mass 1 kg moving with velocity 4 meter per second another particle 2 kg moving with velocity 2 meter per second along the same direction but initially they are separated by a distance of 10 meter the velocity of the first particle is 4 meter per second it is more than the second particle what happens after some time it will go and hit it means they will collide after collision what happens they will be separated means initially this velocity is 4 meter per second no? after collision this velocity changes it will reduce so after collision this velocity changes it will increase so they will separate initially they are approaching after that they will separate means after collision they will separate so there will be change in velocity of 1 kg and 2 kg after collision the questions are like this after what time they will collide that is the first question second question find the velocity of 2 kg this one after collision that is the second question after how much time they will be separated by a distance of 20 meter after collision this fellow going and hitting no? after collision what happens they will move forward only but 2 kg velocity will be little higher than 1 kg after collision so what happens they will be separated so how much distance 20 meter distance separation ke liye kitna time chahiye? that we have to calculate that is the third question that is C the fourth question that is D what percentage of total kinetic energy gained by 2 kg particle after collision see the beauty is after collision 2 kg velocity badega, 2 kg velocity will increase means how much extra energy extra kinetic energy it is gained percentage so what percentage of total kinetic energy gained by 2 kg particle after collision I am giving one condition assume the collision is elastic and collision time is negligible I know you can do it if you follow my videos completely thoroughly with interest and practice if you are doing you can solve these problems if you have that knowledge you post your answers in comments you got it